I'm the Magpie. And I'm Jack. And this is Mondays with Magpie. Today, we are going to be doing salad dressings, Jacqueline. Yes, I'm excited about this. The yes. whole variety of salad dressings. Easy, mm -hmm. doesn't have much preservatives, you know exactly what's in it. Yeah, the only, the only preservatives you might find are what's in whatever, you know, the jam or the mustard, and I think it's pretty minimal. This is organic. I got organic, raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar. This has so, pectin, fruit pectin, well, pectin and citric acids. So that's yeah, not bad. That's pretty good. You get the all fruit or whatever. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and I, I got organic romaine and I washed it and spun it dry because we're going to use these for tasters in a moment. All right, so the first thing we're going to make is a, a raspberry vinaigrette. Now, the recipe that I found calls for raspberry vinegar and I couldn't find any. So we are going to use just plain old apple cider vinegar because um, I saw one, one woman online who used balsamic, but I don't want to change the color because I think that nice red color would be really, yeah, really call nice. call it raspberry. Yeah, and it also says use six frozen raspberries, but they're in season, so we're using fresh because how bad can that be, Jax? So this is actually a kind of medicinal type of, because um, this is very medicinal. You can literally you drink cure it. strep yeah. throat from it and stuff. Um, so you can also be like, ah, oh, getting something that's good for me. <laughs> now, all of the recipes we're going to do, all we have is a food processor. All right, if you don't have a food processor, I think you can use a blender. Okay. So, uh, or an immersion blender, one of those things that, you know, you, you press the button, it's like a stick. And, and or really, really fast with Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, <laughs> worse comes over. You had to have been able to do yeah, it in the past. You just beat the crap out of it with a whisk. <laughs> all righty. So, it's everything is good. I'm going to tell you what to put in and you dump it. Okay. okay. All right. Good Here luck, we go. People. All right. We're going to start <laughs> with to a half a cup of canola oil. This is canola oil. It just came in a big gallon thing and I didn't want to put that on the table. All right. Wait, One half for you. cup. All right. Next. Six frozen strawberries. We're going to use, just put in. Raspberries should be yeah, Just put in a bunch. Sometimes she calls raspberries strawberries. Oh. <laughs> Only six? I'm cold. Wait, I, did you say a bunch? Right? Oh, let's do, yeah. Let's do half of one of the, I mean, just, and how can it be bad? Does that look good? Yeah, that looks good. So it looks like about half of one of the, what is this? This is. The small ones. That's what usually they yeah, come in. Yeah, just a little small. So a half, a handful. You know, just all right. Throw it. It's how many you would pick off a bush. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. We washed them before. Okay. Two teaspoons of seedless raspberry. I'm using uh, Palaner All Fruit uh, because it's only sweetened with juice. All right. Two tablespoons. Te oh. Tablespoons or teaspoons? It said tablespoon, uh, two tablespoons. You said teaspoons. I have video evidence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, we're trying to be exact so we can show you how Share it's it. done. Okay, one tablespoon granulated sugar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sugar granulated. Sugar. She's gone. She's gone to find I'll be back sugar. with sugar. All right, here she comes with the sugar. Now, if you have a, di a diabetic person in the house, uh, maybe you can use it. I don't know if you can use agave or, um, or Splenda. Or, I couldn't you know, use agave know. at least. Yeah, Splenda. Know, honey Splenda will change the flavor. I would do. I think it would too. Okay. One tablespoon Dijon mustard. <laughs> one tablespoon. Okay, one tablespoon. <laughs> one tablespoon. Like they do on TV, they just dump stuff. But you know. But you wouldn't get this. No, them. no, you wouldn't. Um, All right, now one teaspoon. Teaspoon. That's tea poppy seed. Food? Poppy seed. Poppy seed. Poppy seed. It has already some jam in it. Okay, this and is poppy seed. Yeah. Which One. apparently you can find in spice stores. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I couldn't find it in the acne. The acne has a special little 
cubby hole now where they have all these exotic spices and poppy seed with among them. No, Acme is actually a grocery store on the East oh, Coast. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I know because Dave thought my husband thought that was so funny when we moved back the here. Acne. Oh my gosh, it's really I called Acme. Yeah, it's really called Acme. <laughs> like the old Warner a Brothers. Quarter, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. We're almost there. They don't sell anvils though. <laughs> a quarter teaspoon. Good. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna dump this in. What about the vinegar though? We didn't put any vinegar in. Oh, well, we didn't, did we? How much? Three tablespoons. Three tablespoons. Well, don't forget the vinegar. <laughs> it's kind of rather important. <laughs> yeah. The vinegar. Go rinse out the mustard. Yeah. What? One, two, two. Oops. Okay. <laughs> a little, little tiny bit extra. It's approximate. It's all approximate. Right. It's our first time using the food processor. All right, now let's see if it goes. Yay, it does. Lasts about a week, right? Yeah. At least. At least. If, if it lasts that long. Smell check. Taste it and see, but it should last at least a week. It's, it's not vinegar. More. It's, yeah, it's got yeah. vinegar and oil. They're all preservatives. So uh, I can't imagine why. Should we taste it in there or put it in the jar? We're going to put it in a jar. Okay, so here we go. Tool, I have a tool. All right, and you can do it. Go on, I'll let you do it. Oh, great. You can, you can, oh, I have you a- let uh, me fail at this. <laughs> oh, oh, you're doing it. You're doing it. I have raspberry- Raspberry dressing. Vinaigrette. There you are. Done, to are done, done. at the end? Yeah, I guess so. Try it now. Yeah, let's try it now. We're gonna try it now. Okay. All right, that's why we have these little bits of of lettuce. All right, here you go, Jax. I don't even know what it tastes like. Okay. Can't wait. Okay. Right. Make it a little smaller. So yeah, I'm going to make a little pencil. Oh, good. Go. Yeah. Mm. Oh, God, yeah. Mm. Okay, Jax. Now, what other kind of salad dressing would you like to make? Blue cheese. Crumbled blue cheese. Just pulled that out of thin air. Yeah. Oh, we never thought of that before. And we just happened to have a recipe. Oh wow! Look at that. Crumbled blue cheese. Actually, we didn't <laughs> crumble it. So, well, that will <laughs> that will happen. All right. So, um, we are going to um, combine. We we'll start with uh, sour cream and mayo. Okay. So there's the spatula over there. So we need one cup of mayo, one cup of sour cream. That's our motto. If it, it isn't easy, we don't want to do it. Apparently, we always do messy, too. That's true, yeah. <laughs> but that is not part of our motto. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Cooking is messy is your motto. And it's true. That's what I used to tell my granddaughters all the time. Cooking is messy. That's the hardest part of cooking to me. Is the mess. I don't mind the cooking part. I meant the messing part. <laughs> all okay, right. good enough, Jack. Stick it in. All right, we've yeah. got mayo. Put it in. OK. All right. So, mayonnaise. Yeah, just put it in. Oops. <laughs> and that's what you'll probably do too. Should have gotten an so, extra one of these. <laughs> that's all right. Spatula. Why dirty things is what I say. Okay. All right, one cup of sour cream. All right, I'm gonna get the recipe over here because I'm the reader. I'm the official reader. For once, I'm the doer. Yeah, she's the doer. Usually I'm, I'm the conceiver. <laughs> That never wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> and then, all right, Jack, sorry. Well, you know, gotta do it with the bath. Half a cup of buttermilk. Half a cup? We'll do that liquid. Well, I am on this. I got my half a cup. All right, put it in there. Put Next. it in there. And then we're gonna pulse it for about oh. three or four times just to get it all mixed in nice and good. Alrighty. You have yeah. to know how to put the cap on for that, so right. it sounds I like a job for you. <laughs> There we go. Okay. All right. Pulse, pulse, pulse. pulse. There's a button that says pulse, pulse. on it. Pulse. Yeah. So. Okay. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Done. It looks like, like I pulsed that rather well. She did. She's, she's a pulsing. For my first time pulsing. Pulsing genius. <laughs> now it says half a teaspoon white pepper. White pepper. Okay. Half a teaspoon. Never make a mistake. Oh, that's a quarter. See? That's a quarter. See? Yeah, it's like a half. This is a half. Okay. White Always pepper. Double check. And it's important to put white pepper in because you want everything to stay nice and white. You don't want little black dots in it. Chew. So 
Now, I'm gonna show you my trick. Now it calls for two tablespoons of grated onion. So, using a box grater, you get a piece of saran wrap or plastic, plastic wrap, all right? And you put it over that. I have no idea where this is going. You put it over that side like this. Alrighty, it's a side with the little holes in it because you want it to be really, really Side fine. I really never use, but I never know what it's for. All right. Wait, through the plastic? Yeah. And then you grate and you grate and you grate. But you will see. It's magic. It's, it's just like, like anyone magic. can see it behind everything. Ready? All right, there we go. See? Oh, it's plastic. Doing. It's plastic. We are not going to get plastic in your food? Now. No. Now. You do this and you take it off and your box grater doesn't have all the onions stuck in it. I like that. I know. And then all you have to do is sort of wipe off the grated onion. It really didn't. It really did it. Plastic off. Yeah. It didn't. Curious. Yeah. <coughs> Curiouser and Never curiouser. would have guessed that. Yeah. How so many? now let's see if we have two tablespoons. Okay. It's, it doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't, but you know. We'd have to come back. Yeah. I'll tell you what, two tablespoons is a lot of onion. Yeah, more well, than I thought. I am very, very surprised. But that's all it's getting, so I'm not going to do any more than that. Which will break it off. Okay, good okay. enough. Okay. Good enough. Yeah, it's flavor. Yeah, it's all flavor. Oh, I really am crying. <sighs> <laughs> Me too. All right, Okay. so now we have... Um, Two tablespoons of grated onion, four dashes of Tabasco. I didn't have Tabasco, so we use a little hot sauce. Just put in one dash. Yeah, you one, dash. Ready? It. Here we go. One dash. I'm afraid of Tabasco. Yeah. Whoops. Well, that's about one dash. It's one a, and a half. Dash. Yeah, one and a half dashes. If you like hot, put in four. And then it's we're all we're just doing this for me. Who yeah, like she it? doesn't like. And who the does? Green really. So we'll see. All right, one gringo. One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Just here. checking teaspoon. Yeah, see, we're English, so we know how to say Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. There we go. Good. One teaspoon of that. Okay. Half a teaspoon of salt. salt. Uh, which is where's our salt? Oh, that's yeah. this half is a like, teaspoon. Yeah, that's a half, half a teaspoon. teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of salt. We are now. It says a dash of cayenne. But we put in hot sauce, so I think I'm gonna leave this out, Jax. So. All right. All right, just because. Now, just one teaspoon of minced garlic. Okay. All right, now you're on. Teaspoon of minced garlic. Oh, this is something that you just showed me, and we weren't gonna do it on camera, but I said, I gotta show people, because maybe you, there's another person ignorant like me. Well, first of all, I knew this part. If you wanna peel the garlic clove, just smash you it. Just smash it. Yeah. Comes off it really easily right that way. I'm a garlic fan fresh garlic can. Um, then you put the knife away because you don't need it. You know why? You can just grate it like this. I had no idea. Yeah. And I have one of these yeah. new hickeys. You just grate them. And you can even use the box grater. You know, that that thing I showed you with the saran wrap you could do with here if you... Uh, if you didn't want to... If you, yeah. If you didn't Make the to. mess. Those two cloves. Two cloves. Kind of normal size cloves. Yeah. Or large. Okay. All right, now. And two teaspoons of sugar, and then we're out of here. Two teaspoons of sugar I already mm -hmm. measured. <laughs> She's so in efficient. there. So efficient. Just like on oh, the lemon television. juice. We need lemon juice. Oh, lemon juice. We need how much lemon juice? Let me just one tablespoon of lemon juice. All right. So I will do the squeezing, and then you will do the measure. Because you're wearing a lovely lemon colored top. <laughs> one tablespoon. I've got garlic fingers. All right. So we'll see how much half a lemon does. Your lemon is squeezed out? Yeah, my lemon. <laughs> I was like the Hulk. I can't keep anything in my mind. It was one tablespoon? Yeah, one tablespoon. That looks like one yeah. tablespoon. And then throw the rest of the lemon in your garbage disposal because it makes it smell really, really, really nice. If you have one. If you don't, okay. Throw it in your sink and it will just go moldy. All right, now we're gonna put the lid back on this. Okay. We're gonna give it another pulse or two. Okay. All right, pulse. How many times? About three. Four? Yeah. Go for four? Four. 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 Yeah. Okay, that's it. <laughs> now, that's all we're gonna do in um, 
processing. In, in the processing bowl. Now, we are going to crumble six ounces of blue cheese. This is about 5.5. Yeah, about 5.5. I have, <laughs> that's all I found, 5.5 5 okay. ounces. So anyway, You'll and then we just, we're just going to crumble. So I don't know. And plus, when you crumble, it actually never gets really, more ounces. Yeah, I've never really crumbled blue cheese, but here we go. You know what? We can maybe just crumble it right in the... Right into it. Look at this. It's very dirty to bowl. Mm. But now, big chunks fall off. Yeah, and we are not going to... Uh, do any more pulsing because we want big chunks of blue cheese. Now then, I'm going to dump this in a bowl and then we're going to go for the, the jar. So, and I'm uh, going to figure out how to get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alrighty. And then we dump in there. We will mix. Where's the little thing? Oh, get your, all right, get your little thingy. Here, you hold there. it so you can do it. Okay, oh, mm. she's dressing. Very, very nice. Who knew that really isn't very hard? Yes. Now, at this point, we will taste it. And this is the kind of stuff they put on a wedge salad, Jax, when you go to the uh, hoity toity restaurants. And my friend, yeah, my friend John and Andrea always, when we go out to dinner, they always order a wedge salad. And I think, why would you go out to dinner and order a something of, so easy yeah, to make? Iceberg lettuce. You don't even have to chop it up. No, use no. one, two, two. That's done. it, done. <laughs> yeah, they barely take the core out. Okay, Jax. Okay. All right, here we go. Ready? I'll yes. give you that part this time. Dark leafy Because I had the, the baby. Yeah, for the baby. <laughs> All right. Now, this is where we'll correct it. If it needs a little more cayenne or whatever, then we'll put it in. I have no idea they put cayenne in. Which is? Oh, mm. it's, it might make more than two cups. And this is, you know, a pint is two cups, so. Who knew? Apparently, a pint is two cups. <laughs> it seems to be doing of uh, two jars. Good, maybe I could take one home. And we made almost a whole quart of blue cheese dressing. And I'm glad of it because it's delicious. Here you go. I'm going to be eating so much salad and crudite mm. this week. So now that's quite the scene. Raspberry there. vinaigrette, blue cheese, crumbled blue cheese dressing. Stay okay. tuned. Okay, Jax. Now the next thing that everybody likes, and it's very traditional, is just French dressing. Oui. And it's usually, for the French dressing. Yeah. And the home cook, usually you'll throw some mayonnaise in a bowl and you put some capture pin and you say, all right, right. done. That's, that's it. <laughs> that's not it. There's that's a little more to it. it. Yeah, so we're going to show you how to make it properly. Yes. All right, half a cup of mayonnaise and it all goes in the... Uh, Starts out the same. Yeah. I've done this at home in a pinch. Yeah. Yeah, so a little a little planning and you'll have really good dressing. Ketchup? Ketchup. Half a cup. But we'll put the we'll put all the uh, all the the recipes there as well so you can see. A quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. So a quarter cup? A quarter cup. So half of this. Yeah, half of it approximately. Should probably shake it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this apple cider vinegar, if you have a sore throat or whatever or even congested or not feeling like you're coming down with something, you actually gargle with it. That's just good. this and a little bit of water, gargle, and it can make, it can work miracles. That too. Okay. Okay. It's a singer's remedy. And yes. um, we're starting with two tablespoons of sugar. The recipe that I found called for a half a cup, That's and I thought, yeah, sugar. we're not doing a half And the ketchup cup. already has sugar in it. So. Yeah. So two tablespoons. I'm trying two tablespoons. And if you want it sweeter when you taste it, you know, really then you can add at that point. One small onion cut into wedges. That would be this. Yeah. So we. Sorry, you didn't get to see me cutting I, an onion this time. I, she is poetry in motion <laughs> when she cuts. Half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. That's a half. Half a teaspoon of salt and half of a half. Half of a half. Or a quarter. That's good. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So if you want to make Russian, you just add some chopped up pickles, right? Yes, yes. That's what I'm going to say. You want to make this into Russian dressing? Put pickles in there. Yeah. And really fine. Yeah, or uh, put the relish at the very end, stirred in. Don't, don't Not sweet, though. Not okay. sweet. Okay. Ready? You put the dill pickles. That was a fast drizzle. So I thought the pink was in here. It wasn't. I didn't do it. I can't tell me! Okay. Ready? Let's see. Taste it. Let's well, see. Well, okay. All right. If you like French dressing, I do. You, taste you don't like it? it? Sure. But you taste it. 
Mm. Does it need any more sugar? Mm -mm. So I would do a little less sugar after. There you go. Or leave it out all I together. I would probably leave out the sugar. I don't Yeah, see like why on earth would you put sugar in the salad? Tell okay. me. I will tell you. But I do love Russian dressing. So mm. I would easily chop up some of dill pickles. Yeah, I would leave out the sugar entirely. Mm. Do I have stuff on my mouth? You're good. <laughs> So that is a French dressing for mm. the <laughs> It will be very, very fancy oh, with the whole oh, meal. Oh, oh. Uh -huh.